other outdoor recreation assistant here at William & Mary. Um, you just learned about the first LNT principle, which is plan ahead and prepare with Ellison, and I'm going to be talking to you about the second LNT principle, which is travel or walk and camp on durable surfaces. And this is a principle that we can actually use in our life every day. Um, it's very popular and it's something that you can actually keep in the front of your mind when you go outside or anywhere that you go. So what are durable surfaces? It's well paved paths instead of cutting across. So how many times have you um, cut across on either grass or maybe on gravel? Um, trying to get to class because you're a little bit behind and it's just a little bit more convenient. So those are just out of convenience. They're not actually supposed to be there, especially if there's already a, like a little trail there. I know there's a few on campus and there's a whole bunch in the area that I live. Um, and those things are just not supposed to be there. So the paved paths that there are there are supposed to help the vegetation grow around the paths. When you're cutting through, it actually hurts the vegetation, it hurts the things that are growing, it's hurting the ground, um, allow not allowing plants and grass and other things that should be growing, not growing, because you're stomping on it. So the idea surfaces to walk on are established trails, rock, gravel, dry grass, and snow. And in popular areas, front country or back country, concentrating on existing trails. So that in does include like trails that we have around the campus, which are like concrete, um, or the, the trails that we have in the woods that are like, mo like meant to be there, not the cutting through just to make something, uh, one of the trails shorter. If you are camping, trying to camp at least 200 feet away from water and streams, and that's because the the ground that is closer to the water is actually less durable and it's usually a lot squishier, it's a lot softer, and we're trying to minimize the impact that we have on the ground, so trying to find a space away from water that's a little bit more durable. Also trying to keep your campsite small and focus on areas that the vegetation is absent. So you're not trying to camp on a flower bed, you're trying to camp on maybe like dirt that's a little bit more um, durable. Also if you can try to walk in a single file line in the middle of the trail even if it's wet or muddy. So I know especially when you're hiking there could be this really big puddle after a rainstorm now, if you are walking around the puddle, and if everyone's walking around the puddle, it's actually making the trail softer in that, those areas, and that just creates puddles to grow and grow and grow. So if you try to stay as close to the middle as possible, then the trail will always stay in the middle as possible, so that the trail doesn't expand and the water doesn't expand. So I challenge you to look around your areas and see what um, paths that you actually don't even think about. You might not um, cut across and try to stay on the, the paths that are supposed to be there. So on the concrete, on um, the established trails. So look for those and look for the ones that people just cut across and they're putting an impact on the ground um, and trying and now I want you to focus on trying to minimize. So that is number two of LNT that we're going to be talking about.